I'm on the bank of the River Thames here in Weybridge. Weybridge is about 17 miles southwest of central London. The name derives from a crossing point of the River Way which flows into the Thames to the north of the town centre. Gilbert and Sullivan opera impresario Richard Doyley Cart built this 13-bedroomed house by the Thames in the 1890s. Before the bridge was built, guests and residents had to haul themselves across on a chain ferry. And just along here on the other side of the river, it's Shepperton. You can summon a ferry from the Shepparton side of the river if you're not afraid of the spider on the bell. There are two pubs here in Thames Street, Weybridge, where the River Way joins the Thames. This is the Minnow. The way navigation was used for transporting barge loads of heavy goods to London. Timber, corn, flour, wood and gunpowder from Chilworth Mills moved north along the canal and then down the river to London while coal was brought back principally for gunpowder making and smithery. Other return cargoes included sugar and bark which was used for tanning. Locks were installed and new canals dug in Weybridge to better connect with the Thames. This is the River Way. Crossing over the river and carrying the main road into Weybridge is the bridge built in 1945. The old Way Bridge was built in 1865. Church House Antiques in Weybridge has now closed, but it does have a story supposedly associated with John Lennon. Lennon lived in St George's Hills in Weybridge and his young son Julian was friends with the daughter of the shop's owner. Her name was Lucy. It's said that Julian one day said to his dad, Are we going to see Lucy today? Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Weybridge Hall was once the county cinema opening in 1920 and closing in 1956. St James's Church was opened in 1848 and it replaced the Church of St Nicholas. Weybridge is the home to community radio station Brooklyn's Radio, targeted at Surrey and parts of Hampshire.
On Monument Green, the York Column Monument was erected by public subscription in 1822 in memory of the Duchess of York, who had died in 1820, having spent much of her married life in nearby Oaklands. The Ship Hotel is one of the best-known landmarks in Weybridge. And that was Weybridge. Hope you enjoyed it. About a mile and a half up the road is Brooklyn's Museum with its collection of vintage cars, aircraft and buses. I'll see you next time. Let me know what you think of the video.